guys, I'm Georgia, and this is Michelle. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Maya's TV. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things: English. Absolutely, <laughs>、uh, but not just in general. More specifically. Words that we have in English. Now, at first glance, English might seem like your regular old Germanic language. But did you know that we've actually borrowed or stolen, maybe, specific words from Italian and French? Surprising, I know. So Michelle is going to tell us a bit more about that.、Uh, Michelle, what words has English borrowed from Italian? Quite a few. So let's start with the basics. We all know.、Um, Pizza, pasta,、oh. spaghetti. Those are thankfully universal and stay the same. But another word that may seem universal at the first at first glance is actually、um, latte. Milk. Exactly. So in Italian, we refer to latte as milk. Okay. Right. But if you go to a Starbucks, especially in the U.S. and、yeah. the U.K.,、yeah. and you order a latte, you won't get a cup of milk. You will get. Some hot coffee with steamed milk,、ah, and a different pronunciation. Absolutely. <laughs> Continuing on with the, the same theme of food, please.、Uh, let's talk about pepperoni. Okay, pepperoni. What can you tell the audience about that? Right. So when I say pepperoni, I refer to an American sausage that has been seasoned with spices. Yep. And、uh, if I'm not mistaken, pepperoni pizza is an American classic. Um. I don't know where it was invented, but I'm pretty sure it sounds American, doesn't it? But yeah, it's a staple recipe in any pizza restaurant, right? But in Italy, when we talk about pepperoni, we're talking about the fruit of the capsicum plant. Very scientific. Very scientific. The red bell pepper. It's true. I have several colleagues and friends that have come to Italy. Ordered a pepperoni pizza and been very surprised by what they got. No way! I swear to God. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. Okay, let's move on from food to、oh. art, culture. Beautiful. So let's start with ballerina. Oh, very nice. So ballerina in Italian、uh, refers to a female dancer. Okay. In English, ballerina also refers to a female dancer, but more specifically, it refers to a ballet dancer. Okay. Cool. Very nice. And with ballerina, of course, we cannot forget prima donna and、oh, diva. Yeah, prima donna. Yeah, <laughs> prima donna and diva refer to um, female um, musical performers. Okay, but in English, they mean the same, but it has been broadened and expanded in context to refer to a person who is extremely self-important、right. and incredibly hard. To please, don't be such a prima donna. Don't be a diva. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> prima、uh, donnas and divas are often traced by paparazzi. Oh, another Italian word. Another Italian、okay. word. And this one means the same in English and Italian. It refers to freelance photographers who aggressively chase celebrities to capture candid pictures. For money, I'm assuming. Of course, I mean money does make the world go round. Very cool. Okay, so there's a lot of Italian words、mm. that we have, but what about French? Do we have that many French words, or what French words do we have in English? Oh, absolutely, about thirty percent. Thirty percent of all words in English come from French. I actually did not know that. <laughs> That's incredible.、Um, let's start with food again, because you know I、Why、love、not? food. Yeah, come on. So, if you fancy a savory breakfast, yeah, I do. <laughs> you might have an omelet. An omelet. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> omelet in French and English refers to a delicious dish of beaten eggs fried in oil. Oh,、mm. I love an omelet. The culinary and hospitality、um, world is filled with French yeah, words. Yeah, I have noticed that. For instance, if you walk into a restaurant, that's a French word. You sit at your table, you pick up your menu, another French word. Right, and then on the menu you have the entrees, another French word. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> and when you eat your entree, you eat the food that has been prepared by a chef. 
Right, yeah. Another French word. I don't even realize these things, but yeah. We truly don't. They've become so ingrained in the language. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you order wine that has been recommended by the sommelier. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Another French word. Yeah, that is very true. It is. Do these words only exist in the food uh, sector or do, are there other French words from different areas? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, let's talk about the word uh, déjà vu. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I get it all, all the time. <laughs> do you want to explain what déjà vu is? So déjà vu, I think it exists in Italian as well. It I think does. It's universal, maybe. But déjà vu, all over again, is when you have an experience or something happens to you that ha- you feel as though it's happened already. Right? Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. a great way to articulate it's it. It's also a glitch in the matrix, but that's, oh, another, yeah. that's another story. <laughs> right. So what is your favorite Italian word and your favorite French oh, word? That's a hard one. I have to say, one of my favorite Italian words that we use in English that has completely changed meaning is confetti. <laughs> Because True. in Italy, confetti are those delicious little almond candy coated mm. almonds you get at weddings Yum. baptisms whatever but in in english confetti is for carnival it's the little pieces of paper that you throw in the air don't throw italian confetti in the air you're gonna hurt somebody what about you what's your favorite italian word okay i'm a little embarrassed to say this but my favorite italian word is lasagna hey, no shame that's a great word <laughs> because oh, in my book nothing beats a good lasagna oh, yeah oh. of course of course Nice. What about your favorite French word? Okay, my favorite French word would be petite. I just think oh, it sounds yeah. so cute. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What about you? Oh, it's not a word per se. It's nom de plume. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, and fun fact. I don't know if it's fun, but it's a fact. In French, they actually don't say nom de plume. They say nom de guerre. Oh. Yeah, and so in English, we kind of changed it. But now, in this like reverse shift... In French now, they also use nom de plume, even though originally it, it came from the English. It's like boom, 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 a lot of back and forth here. I think that's really interesting about language, how it's yeah. a living, breathing oh my um, entity and constantly evolving and changing depending on society yeah. and how we evolve and change. And how we use it. That's why I love talking about language so much. Um, Michelle, thank you so much for telling us all these things and for explaining the origin of these words and how we use them. If you guys like this, please leave a comment, like and subscribe, and tell us your favorite Italian or French word that we use in English. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.